Late Wednesday morning outside Providence Seaside, the honks coming from passing vehicles are a sign of the love the coastal community has for the nurses and clinicians on day three of a five-day strike. Oh, the support has been amazing from the community. Amazing. Ingrid Betcher handles triage and wound care at Providence Seaside. She's one of the approximately 1,800 nurses and clinicians from that hospital, Providence Portland Medical Center, and Providence Home Health and Hospice, who walked off the job Monday. We want to be in there, and some of our wound care patients have driven by today and say, we are going to need you next week. We are really a family here. Roxanne Welch is another nurse on the picket line outside Providence Seaside, a hospital she's called home for nearly two decades. Nineteen and a half years here, and I just, I want everybody to have parity and equal opportunity in the hospital, which the clinic nurses do not have. Welch and her colleagues want higher wages and better benefits. Providence officials say they're offering that in the form of additional hours of paid time off and a 12% raise. But judging by this caravan through downtown Seaside, nurses and clinicians aren't pleased, nor are people we met on the street. Well, I don't think they get paid enough. Nahalem resident Tammy Hampton hopes the men and women on strike get what they want and return to work. The last thing Hampton wants is another strike, yet again impacting the hospital closest to her. So I don't want to drive 30, 50 miles to go to one, you know, so it's just one of those things. Providence officials argue that even though the hospital in Seaside is operating at only 50 percent capacity, all is good. After all, Providence did bring in replacement nurses to cover for those walking the picket line. But as those nurses and clinicians will tell you, it's just not the same. We're going to go back on Monday and we're going to we're going to do what we do best, be nurses. In the several days these nurses and clinicians have been on the picket line, they tell me they know they have seen replacement nurses passing them in cars and heading into the hospital to go to work. And they tell me there's no animosity there. They know those men and women have a job to do, and it's a good thing because at the end of the day, it is all about the patients. And that explains why these people are eager to get back to work at the end of the week when this strike ends. Reporting in Seaside, I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.